Hi, I'm Robin and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. Today, I will show you how to perform thresholding in Mimix. In this video, we're going to explain thresholding. This is one of the most commonly used tools to create an initial segmentation object. To start, go to the segment menu and choose the thresholding tool. Thresholding is the process of choosing a range of intensity values and any of the pixels that fall within that range will get highlighted or selected and put into our mask. You can see that the thresholding dialog box contains a histogram. The intensity values of the image are along the x-axis and the number of pixels for each intensity value are along the y-axis. You can change the range by dragging the sliders left and right. There is one for the minimum value of the range and one for the maximum value of the range. If you need help deciding which range is best to use, you can activate the 3D preview. The pixels will update when you drag the sliders so you will be able to see what range works best. There are some predefined sets for CT scans that you can use. As long as the patient has a normal bone density, you can use the bone predefined set. If you would like to minimize the number of holes, you can check the box Fill Holes. The Keep Largest checkbox means that it is going to only keep the largest continuous surface and eliminate the rest. We're going to create one mask without that checked and one with it checked so you can see the difference. After we hit Apply, you can see in the Project Manager that a new mask is made. You can rename it by clicking on the name or you can also hide it. To make a new mask, click the plus button and the dialog box will reappear. This time, we'll check the keep largest box. You can see that this version only contains the femur, whereas the original mask contains all of the bones. 